Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and as you probably noticed in the tweet, I mentioned that uh, <laughs> things might, or original plans might change. I originally titled this uh, as Dangerous to Go Alone because originally I was going to be joined by a Ray Est and Arcadius, and we were going to finish lighting up some of the caves down there because we've gotten to the point where we've lit up enough caves that um, it's dangerous. <laughs> all all the bad guys seem to have seriously concentrated into uh, a couple of caves that we still haven't gotten lit. So depending on how things go, I might try to I might try to head down there and um, see uh, see if I can survive the increasingly dangerous caves. Because it would be nice to finish up the lighting project. And speaking of lighting, of course the sun is setting just as we start the stream. Because <laughs> that's, that's just the way it goes sometimes, huh? Alright, so. Um, what I might do instead is try to get back to work on that gate. Because uh, if you remember... If you remember last week? No, a couple weeks ago. Um... We were trying to replicate the gate design that we had over there and over at my castle. And for some strange reason, the exact same... I was about to say the exact same code. The exact same redstone design that works perfectly fine right there does not work perfectly fine right here. And that, to me, is more than marginally puzzling. So, I, I've been doing some searching. I found what seems to be a readily usable alternate design. Although, I am going to have to bring one of these walls forward a little bit and one of these walls back a little bit because it is... Uh, actually maybe a little bit more because it, it is uh, three to four wide the uh, the only problem is that I guess I could do that in three yeah I could do that in three um, of course the problem is that the pistons instead of being in the center the pistons will have to be on one side and all the redstone in two rows off to the side so I'm gonna have to shift this back a little bit um, but before I do that, I do want to go ahead and make note of all the extra items in my inventory because some progress has been made. We'll just kind of wander around, starting with... You notice the wall goes from corner to corner, except for over the bay. So we're going to put a pier in here. We're going to try to figure out some ways to uh, make the defeat... The, def <laughs> the defeat... Uh, the bench... I promise you, I have not been drinking yet. Um, make the beach defensible, but without having to put up a giant fence around the beach. Yeah, so we're, we're going to try to figure out some way to keep uh, zombies and things from crawling up on the beach. We're going to do another tower like that guy over there, over here. But uh, first I got to fix the design of that guy over there. And that might be something we work on today as well. I tried to keep it along with the rest of them, but for some reason that just didn't seem to to work right. We also got this guy here. Who, uh, oops. <laughs> it would really help if I finished him. Oh, let's go right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Bam. And then I need some slabs. And, sure, we'll throw a regular stair. We'll go regular stair. I don't... I probably did one there. I'll have to check on the other side. Uh, we'll get, yeah, sure. Alright. So we got a new building for our zombie farm. We still got the glass tube going up. I did not change the drop height. Um, the, the work it's going to take to make that happen just... It isn't worth it. Every now and again, it seems like what, what goes on is a zombie gets to the edge and he bobs up before going over the drop. 
So every now and again we get one that dies, but as we've made more progress with the lighting up, the loss from that has become, uh, how shall we say it, increasingly neg negligible. But here we go. We got a nice new interior. We got a nice protected roof. I have been tempted to switch this over to a skylight, though, uh, instead of a solid brick roof. Um, but a skylight doesn't really quite fit other than this to watch the elevator because it is kind of funny to watch them going up knowing exactly what's happening. That diorite block is still our AFK zone. We've got some uh, lamps hidden under the pressure plates. I kind of wish they were hidden a little bit better, but uh, beggars and choosers and all that. And quite frankly, at the end of the day, it works. It keeps this area lit up enough that you don't have to worry about spawns. We've got enough... Uh, windows for view out. We've accumulated a little bit of rotten flesh and some other stuff. I do need to get a, an anvil in here somewhere uh, just so that way we can use it if we need to. And then of course we got this back here so if we ever need to come back and troubleshoot eventually I'll probably put a roof somewhere in here to pretty it up a little bit but quite frankly since you're not supposed to be back here unless something's going wrong, uh, I will probably do one small thing and go... And one more. There we go. So that way we can get up to the redstone if need be. I don't like that that hangs out to the fence, but uh, I'm not pushing that fence out one more. I don't have the space to keep the general look that I want to. Yeah, okay, good. So that is pretty much what I did, except uh, on the other side, it abuts right up against the wall because it just so happens to reach the post. I mean, I guess I could push this wall out one, two, and then have it all line up with, uh, with that post there. That might not be that bad, but that's a later thing because um, right now it works good. It looks good, and I'm kind of happy with that. I did that this weekend. I was getting kind of tired of uh, wanting to AFK but not wanting to be exposed to phantoms and things because we also didn't have everything quite as lit up. You might notice that we got the fence here because, well, that that hill got pushed back a little bit. It still looks pretty decent though. I mean, we do have it uh, roughed up a little bit trying to keep it natural looking like it's still part of uh, the way things generate. And we are going to have to go down through this cave as well. Because there's a bunch of caves down this way that absolutely impact the efficacy of that little spawner right there. Um, to help protect the village, we did block off this little bit of the bay. We've got a turtle preserve going on the other side. These poor souls are locked out. Two of them have this beach as their home anyway. The third, I, I don't know. Sometimes he's here, sometimes he's not. Every now and again, he tries to go to that beach, and, uh... Sorry, buddy. Any hole I put in here big enough for him is going to be big enough for the stuff that we're trying to fence out. We got a few more profession blocks that are going to get put down eventually, and another building or two should, spr should sprout up over here at some point in the near future. This uh, village overhaul project has taken on a life of its own. I really, really thought it was going to be a uh, quick, you know, a couple of weeks and done. Like, just building a little bit bigger village, building a nicer fence, and, and calling it done. And just letting them breed up into whatever size we had decided. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we'll, we'll be over here definitely, definitely all day tonight, or all stream tonight. And uh, maybe for another stream or two coming up. Although I might take a little break next week just to do something different. Um, and Arcadius is still working out a better church bell. I think we showed that one off last week as well. Because apparently you can't hang the bells from fences and iron poles. It has to be attached to a block. And so he wants a couple of bells up there. Uh, we were trying for a bit of a Caroline look. If you're not sure what a Caroline is. Uh, now, where did you come from? That's the other thing. We, we keep finding these guys 
um, popping up in here, and I was under the impression that since there was enough player lighting, they shouldn't be spawning, unless he walked around the fence, because that is one of the fences that we don't have uh, completely around. All right. And now that we have the wonderful effect, before I finish my tour of the village, we'll now have a milk commercial. <laughs> Does the status effect good. All right. Anyway, onward and forward. Maybe. All right. Um, we did put a couple of turtle eggs, so there would be a few more turtles over here in our preserve. We got some tropical fish floating around. Uh, <laughs> we, we've named our turtles so they don't disappear. So we got Anagnorisus, we got Ethos, and Pathos. And we've got Logos. And Peripatia. And Ignorosis and Peripatia are uh, our original two turtles that had settled on this beach here. Um, and the other three, Pathos, Ethos, and Logos, uh, were the ones that we set down the eggs and hatched ourselves. If you're not sure what Anagnorisis and Peripatia are, Wikipedia is your friend. I would also highly, highly recommend... Um, the, the TED Talk by, um, I'm blanking on the name all of a sudden. He did the Dirty Job Show. Uh, matter of fact, if you just search the, the TED, TEDx website and, and for, um, for Dirty Jobs, and uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do yet. All right, I wanted to get a nap in. <laughs> you, you will come up with an awesome, awesome talk. All right, where was I? So we got the bay, we did a little bit of remodel of the stairs, so it's nice smooth, you can actually walk up without having to do the jump. We'll eventually retrain this corner so it's a little bit more of a uh, shallow progression down, and not quite as sharp. And we got one of our other finished towers over here, I've been dropping some of these guys over in the corners. Uh, this wonderful tower of scaffolding will get covered if you remember last week I was trying to work out a spiral staircase design and everything I tried just was not working out it was leaving too much of the top open in order to give you room to walk around the spiral staircase uh, I thought about throwing some ladders up the side of the wall but um we've got the scaffolding and I actually like that as a ladder better than the actual ladders at least for projects like this, because then you can decorate it up a little bit more. You know, I can grab some trap doors and put the trap doors around the outside like we did in the house I slept in just a few minutes ago at the start. And uh, so we still got to get the outer edge of the parapet. Um, I'm finding that in order to maintain consistency, I really need to do the same part of the project all around. Like, to maintain consistent spacing, I just needed to run the bottom, then run all the wood posts, then run all the metal fence, and then run the top to include the uh, overhang over here so it is at least spider safe. I still need to put the uh, little uh, foot down at the bottom to give it a little bit, a little bit more character. And then once I get the foot on that side and the overhang on the inside, I'll come back around and start putting this design all the way down. Uh, I tried building it as I went, but I kept running into problems every time we changed with the elevation. And I was having a hard time keeping it straight because I was switching from you know, doing the lumber and the fence to doing the top. To doing this and by the time I got back to this I was like how did I how did I do that that change up and that change down and yeah so uh I don't know yet if I'm gonna put one of these on the inside too to kind of serve as a safety railing because honestly with as much half slabs as we've gotten this it is uh dead simple to go over the edge in either direction which I still consider a benefit you know a feature not a bug um, we got another profession section going in over there. There's going to be a Fletcher and a uh, Shepherd with a uh, little hut going up over there. Yeah. Ah, no. 
That's okay. This was the tower that we that had kind of started it all. It's been my template. So I referenced this one when making that one and kept them pretty similar. This wall is uh, just about done as well. We got the overhang. I did a little bit of terraforming over on this side too. Yeah, it's subtle, so you might not notice it because it's mostly covering up uh, little water pits and shallow holes and things like that to even out the terrain. Um, definitely wanted to even that out <laughs> and make that uh, a little bit smoother. Partly because we kept falling into it, partly because creepers were disappearing into it and really giving us the willies. So we will eventually... We'll get to this gate next. I'll have to get set up for that. Grab my redstone boxes, maybe move a couple of things from over there over here. And this tower is similar in design to the other two. Again, referencing that corner right there, the one we worked on last week in the stream and finished up uh, this weekend. So it's pretty much the same inside and out. We got adequate lighting in there. Going to start putting more banners on the doors as we accumulate them. Uh, this project Reyes has made a little more progress on. What I need to do is I need to get to harvesting the vines a little more consistently because I'm running out of the mossy stuff and I really need to make some more of it. Um, <laughs> part of why we had a halt on uh, harvesting the vines though is uh, <laughs> we, we were working last night I think it was. Might have been last night. And um Oh, that's right, because we still got the overhang that's going to come on the inside. Okay. Um, working last night or the night before, <laughs> and a creeper went off over here, and it destroyed the shulker box with the iron that we were using for this project. So no more shears to, uh, to do that until we get another box of iron coming. Now, this tower, this tower has been the bane of my weekend because I don't have the fence going off in an L around the other corner to help me to help me figure out spacing and planning and that sort of thing. For some strange, I, I just, I can't seem to nail the shape right. And I tried making this one just a little bit bigger to see if that would work. And it just, it feels, it feels off. It doesn't feel right, uh, especially because it, this platform is just a little bit bigger, so this overhang is going to come out just a little bit more than those are. And it just, it doesn't, it's not right. It's just not right. So, I'll, we'll have a play with this a little bit later today after we play with the gate. And maybe before we go down into the pit. Because again, it is dangerous to go alone. And <laughs> I'm not sure I want to do that one. But, um, all right, let's grab a couple. Oh, almost forgot. And we got a nice little door on the back. I originally had a pressure plate here to make it easier for us to go in and out. And then I remembered that we were going to turn the villagers loose once we, uh, once we got this properly secured and lit. So that way they could, they could wander about and do their thing. We we're going to, you know, set up all the beds on this side. So they'd move over here when it was time to sleep. And we we're going to set all the profession blocks down that side. So that way they'd move on off to the profession blocks and, and it would have the feeling of a village as the villagers went to and fro. So in order to make it villager safe, uh, they can't operate the redstone on that gate, which is good because it's all buttons and they don't push buttons. And I realized afterwards that if I put a pressure plate here, these guys could potentially wander out the door and then not be able to get back in which would be a problem. I mean, the the way the villager mechanics are set up, they would have eventually breeded back up to the population we were looking for, but uh yeah, I'm not I'm not for that. So we we put the buttons and I do need to get a couple of lanterns in here too just to give it a little character. Do we, do I have uh yeah, okay. Let's do that right now while I'm thinking about it. So that's been my little workstation. I'm going to grab that, move it back over to... Oh. oh. Sure. We'll put it there. Bam. Okay. 
I'll gather up a couple of things. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to need the dirt. I'm not going to need the stone. Oh. I shouldn't need the stone. All I'm doing is moving the hole, so everything should shift. I don't need the smooth stone. Still don't know where that sand came from. I used up the last of the chisel I had in my inventory. Okay. I've got some randomness for the redstone stuff. I'll probably take that box. Uh, I won't need the stone cutter. Or will I? No. Uh, no, I won't need the stone cutter. I will need my ender chest. I'll need my bed. I may need the crafting station. Um, I shouldn't need the lights, but I'll take them just the same. And my random box of randomness. That I'm keeping with me. That I'm keeping with me. That I'm keeping with me. Oh, don't let me forget to uh, visit the cows, too. That's my random box of randomness. Do I need anything in here? No. Definitely not. Which means I'll definitely be back because I'll find... <laughs> I'll figure out that, yeah, actually I did kind of need something. All right. Put the mossy back, we don't need that. Put the crack back, we don't need that. And the stone bricks, we had brought a bunch back with us. And gone through more than a few, because again, that lip on the top extends all the way around the outer perimeter. I now need to finish the, this lower lip all the way around the perimeter and then do the same thing on the inside. So now you can see why that is uh, slightly inadequate in volume of mossy for the task. And doggone it. I will be so happy once we get all the walls and lighting set up so that way we don't have to worry about... Uh, getting harassed by mobs while we're running around inside the fence because then I can just keep working through the night at least until the phantoms start showing up. Then that might change things. I do need to retrain this beach just a little bit because uh, it is more than possible for them to pathfind around. Although, I don't know. We might just let it be. Uh, it depends on how much we got to reshape this foundational pillar. So I might pull this back a couple of blocks. The uh, the the mobs will will try to swim across it. So we definitely got to get a uh, we definitely got to do something to make them think that they're not going to be able to pathfind around that. And I haven't quite figured out what the best option for that is. I might take some string because I don't know, but I don't know how the string will impact their uh, pathfinding. That's something that Bear's looking for. Because what I might do is I might just go over the water with some Frostwalker boots and lay down some string across the top water if that will affect their pathfinding. It might not. So, uh, that bears further investigation. Alright, uh, we'll get that there, we'll get that there. those. I'm sure I'll drop those on there. And let's go see the cow real quick because that might not be the only uh, pillager we run across. And having these guys around is definitely handy. Alright. So let me get my redstone boxes out and at the ready. And then I'll see about figuring out what we need to craft up to make this happen. I'm looking at a different design for the double piston extender. Uh, I really wish that I could credit it to a particular person. But I honestly have no idea who put the original design together. I've seen more than a few variations of this design by different people posted at different times in different places so if this is your design and I did 
did not credit you. I deeply apologize. Uh, because I really do wish I could give appropriate credit where it is due. Smidge too far. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up this side here. And I should have tore up a little bit of that grass over on the other... No, not the grass, but the path. Uh, I might be able to put the triggering mechanism in the same place, too, because I'm going to have to get a redstone signal down to where the, the pistons are. I might even just move the pistons up? No. Because this is, this is the depth I want them at, so that way it's only two bits of gravity blocks that get pushed up. Now, that is one of my concerns, by the by is the, the gravity blocks themselves, because that we were having this really weird issue where the gravity blocks were glitching through. I'm probably going to need more of that stone brick, aren't I? Yeah. All right, we'll get to that in just a second. Or I could just tear it up from that side when I get there. Um, or make it from the stone. I would like to get that up on the floor. You know, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. The one time I really dislike having an efficiency shovel is when you're trying to do some precision work like that. Alright, so this is coming out this way. We got one, two, three, and then wall? Yeah, and then wall. Trackball's been working a little weird too, so I might have to uh, might have to put that on the old Christmas list or something. I definitely want to tear this up and get some stone brick down for the floor, just because I, I want to make sure that if uh, if we do any digging. <laughs> around here for any reason if we run across the uh the stone brick we know that there there's something here and be careful be careful where you poke it, it's a good idea to make sure that uh you leave yourself a little signpost like that when you're setting down your redstone um because i have absolutely dug in the wrong place a few times it's not fun all right, uh, let's get that, get that. Let's just tear that up. The pistons are staying where they are. Let me get this up. Now I am going to need... Oh, <laughs> that's probably why I wanted to leave that as stone. Oh, well. Let's throw some dirt in there. Maybe I'll just do the stone brick. Not that it matters all that much. Yeah, because I, I have done uh, construction projects and accidentally stumbled <laughs> stumbled upon uh, some redstone from the project. It was not fun. just want a, a signpost. There would be something over here. Nope, 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 nope. That's the kind of stuff that's been happening that makes me think I might need to replace the trackball. 
because I'll tap the button once and then I'll get far more than once. All right, so I've still got my five pistons. That part hasn't changed. I'm probably going to try to work the, um, the triggering mechanism just the same. What I need is I need 10 observers. Ten observers, five. Ten observers, five. Repeaters. A fistful of that dirt that I said I wasn't going to need. Just because it's going to irk me that that is not set up the way it should be. Turn that back up to put stone brick just so the design matches that one, even though the actual layout of the pit doesn't match. Hmm. Alright. Let's grab the redstone boxes. And I need at least five of those guys. Because this is supposed to be a tileable design. And it's going to be the same basic thing in, uh, in each of them. Some of this I can go ahead and start laying down anyway. Should have checked that ahead of time, huh? Which means we could probably do that there. A blat of redstone right there. That is one block too low. Now, I'm probably gonna have to put that there anyway. And again with the evening. Hmm. Hello darkness, my old friend. No, I am not going to try to sing that, especially since the music I've got going is of a very different tenor. Actually, let me uh, make sure that this is going to work the way I think it is anyway, because if I pull this over there and throw an input. Okay, good. Bueno. Alright, um, hmm. That ran across right there. Let's double check back down that way. So we've got the top of the pit. Ooh, that was an ominous sound. All right, so that block is going to be even with the top of the pit, the redstone, and then the green block is going to be one higher than that. means we have no yes that means we had one right below that and it's going to be in the corner of the pit yes that is the corner of the pit so we had one one block below all right let's start that way and work backwards and we'll fix that we 
might even fly. Maybe not. Server's been really weird lately, and I don't know if it's because of something that we've got running, or if it's because we're on a shared server, and not everybody that shares the server shares the server resources equally. Uh, that is one. That is a common problem with these sorts of deals. Um, so, beware of that. All right. So that was. That was there. That was one below. And that was even with the top. So if I did that, and then that, that would actually work. I could move this guy over here. Top of that, I probably ought to move. Ooh, probably ought to move one more over there. I don't know. I'm trying to make sure that we don't end up with uh, zombies and whatnot down here. All right, and that goes on top of there. So that is still going to end up about the same place because the red one's going to end up there. And then the wall is going to end up there, and we can go like that. Bam! And that's going to be 15. Nope. 15, yep. So that's 15. <sighs> Wrong button. I do want to check and make sure the power is going to go as well as I think. So that's 15, that's 14, that's 13, that's 12, that's 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So that should be more than enough. I need four more of these guys here. Please tell me I've got some already crafted up. There we go. I need four more of those. Oops. And all these guys are on a four tick delay. None of the tutorials I found that explain this one said why you wanted them on a four tick delay. <laughs> uh, I suspect it has to do with trying to convert a... Um... No. No. This is that way no matter what. Yeah, no. I, I don't know. I get nothing. I'm not entirely sure why that is on a four tick delay. But that is what every tutorial said, so we'll go with that. Alright. So far, so good. They all move up at the same time. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and grab... We should have had more of this sand. Somewhere in here. Maybe it was in here. Yeah, there we go. Because it should be like this. Now, I could probably get away with moving this up more and just having the top one sand, but I really don't want the uh, pistons themselves to show in the design. So let's make sure nothing's doing any weird glitches. Bam. And that's only going up one so far because we haven't added the rest of the piston extender. Now, in this great and myriad assortment, do I have observers? Yet. Hmm. Okay. So let's grab some cobble. Let's grab some nether quartz. Let's grab some more redstone. And let's craft up. Five observers. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, there is a chance that we will need more than that. But I'm not holding my breath on that one. Um, I am going to grab the wrench. And these need to be looking down 
at these guys. There. That'll work. So that should be going up like that into a solid block there. If I remember right, there was no redstone up, because that's going to push it up. And then when it gets up, these... Okay, so... Again, no explanations were offered in any of the tutorials that I saw. So I'm going to take a stab at what is going on, because again, I am a redstone intermediate. I am not an advanced redstoner yet. So, uh, look for that later. We'll work on that. You push the button, the power comes down the wire and it's these are going to pull a f because they're repeaters they're going to pull a full signal out of that block not that it necessarily matters for what we're doing it's going to power the bottom piston and then these guys will flash is it because they'll flash a four tick delay away and that's what's going to power those guys when they get up because i know it's the observers powering this block that's going to power this one it's the it's the exact timing of things that I'm not quite sure that I got. Oh, that was quick. But, uh, losing gravity blocks in the process is not good. What happened there? And how did I end up with 11? Oh, that's right. I did have the one left over from the last go round. Alright, so that is progress at least. It works. Except for the part where it starts junking out blocks. <sighs> Would it be better if I put solid blocks and sticky pistons? I mean, I could put a solid block on that bottom most row, because that's not going to get seen by anybody anyway. Or, move this whole thing up one. I could definitely move the whole thing up one. You're not going to see the piston anyway. The part where it starts dropping concrete powder, just out of the blue, that's the that's the problem. Because we can't be having that. That is the other thing. Every example that I saw of this was using solid blocks on top of those pistons. Um, hmm. I may have to gnaw on that one a bit. All right, let's put those away for the moment. Let's no, we can't go to bed yet. There's still work to do. Well, let's get those up and was it here that I had some snow? No, was it here? No, of course not. Okay, well, you know what? That's just gonna go into a big miscellaneous miscellany. That'll go in there too. Four now. That'll go in there too. Four now. Uh, we'll toss that in there. We should be able to sleep now. All right. So, big question. With either zero viewers or no update, <laughs> do I want to continue fighting with this redstone, or do I want to table it until I can try to find a better design to try? I might table this for the moment because Doc M77 had a double piston extender that worked with gravity blocks that didn't lose them. He used it in the gate design for uh, the Area 77 project that he was working on right up for a, little, a while. And I guess in that respect, uh, now that I think about how long he was working on Area 77 from week to week, uh, I probably shouldn't feel too bad about this village project then. Uh, I won't lie. It, it's been bothering me just how much time this has taken. 
but it probably shouldn't. Alright. So we'll put this part on hold for the time being. Um, I am going to top this off real quick, though, just for kicks. So, that is progress, at least. Uh, with a different double piston extender design, we might be able to get this to work. I still don't know why that one isn't working over here. I know there's some weird redstone quirks that can sometimes happen. Um, with the directionality of Minecraft, usually it has a lot more to do with rails and that sort of thing. So I'm kind of kind of confused as to why why here, why like this. But um, hmm. I guess we'll uh we'll save that mystery for another day. Then let us do this. Let's grab grab some lights. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Let's struggle to fly. Before I forget, let's patch this back up. So we're gonna go, we got one, two, three, that. Where? Oh, that's right, that came from over there, and so did the other brick. Okay. Because we made some extra bricks. Like, uh oh, spare parts. <laughs> Reminds me of college. I had a professor who was infamous for um, accidentally leaving spare parts in some of the projects. It was the computer hardware, computer hardware, and something class. The exact name escapes me. Anyway, we went over hardware and the fundamentals of networking, you know, basic PC building, that kind of thing. And, um, where's my combat armor? Okay. And, uh, don't normally like infinity bows, but we'll go with that for now. Let's grab a shield, because we're definitely going to need that. Um,. I'm going to trade these wings in. <laughs> oh, I don't have all that many extra. Protection on breaking mending. Okay, yeah. That would be about all I could put on there, wouldn't it? Let me rephrase that. That would be about all I'd want to put on. Oh, i got to finish getting those leggings up to snuff. Huh. I didn't realize I'd forgotten all that. Alright. So... Let's get us some full iron. Let's grab us these guys. Let's grab us some lighting. And we'll grab a couple of empty shulkers. Just so we can grab all the loot with us as well. And, uh, To the dangerous place. I should probably grab uh, I should probably grab some potions and night vision too. Oh, actually, since I don't, since I don't have the wings, I can probably stuff my rockets in there too. Yeah, I'll just put those right in there. Now we're starting to get back to my old hot bar, the way I used to run it. All right. Anything else in here I do and don't need? Yeah, I'll hang on to the rest of that because almost all that's useful. Alright. Oh, hardware class. So what Gerald Linegar, Professor Linegar, used to do is we would have a project where we were supposed to uh, take a PC apart and put it back together again. And if it boots up, we passed. If it didn't boot back up, we did not pass. Pretty simple and straightforward, right? Um... He had this fun little habit of going around when you weren't looking 
and quietly adding parts to your pile. Like he'd throw a couple extra screws into the into the pile of screws that you were accumulating as you took something apart, and he'd see, you know, who a who was keeping track of <laughs> who's keeping track of their stuff. Like who even noticed that there is all of a sudden extra parts in the bin. Like you know, WTF mate, how did this happen? Yeah, that should okay. I'll probably collect up these torches too. Um, so, hey, he was seeing who's actually paying attention to to what's going on in the bin, and he would also uh, see what people did with the extra extra parts. Like, you would be surprised how many people would figure because they had a screw left in their pile of screws that 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 must have gone to something, right? So they would rather creatively find a place to put the uh, the extra screw and, and just really weird stuff like that it, it, it amazed me uh, in no small part because I had been building PCs for a while long long before I took the class uh, that, that was what I was doing as part of my day job working at Staples and yeah so and hobby before that, mostly because I was embarrassed about my inability to do that uh, prior. So I took the time to, to actually, you know, learn and figure it out. But yeah, it, it was the weirdest thing. So you'd throw, throw extra parts in. Um, our second major project was he handed us a, a, a literal box full of parts. Like, that's it. You have a box. It has. It is full of nothing but parts, and your project was to assemble it into a working computer. If it booted, you passed. If it did not boot, guess what? You did not pass. Um, he, he did do a little bit of grading for, uh, you know, varying degrees of workingness, so it wasn't completely, completely and utterly unfair. Is not the right word. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not unfair. Oh, <laughs> I thought something was moving over there. It's the smoke just outside the corner of my eye and in, in the edge of the render distance. So anyway, yeah, he did. He did at least give partial credit for, uh, you know, if it at least turned on without electrocuting the lab assistant. No, uh, true story. Actually happened. Uh, somebody wasn't paying attention to where they were putting their wires and <laughs> accidentally pinched one of the higher voltage wires when they were assembling the case. And this is where I get to do my back in my day moment. Because back in my day, the computer cases were made not out of aluminum, but out of steel steel and other conductive materials so that pinched that pinched cable in the uh, in the superstructure of the PC most definitely electrocuted the lab assistant um, it was a really nice guy but he uh, as you can kind of gather by the story he didn't exactly pay the closest attention So, while I would never say that he deserved anything like that, he should have been paying a little closer attention to us. We had a lot of guys who, who were um, trying to change careers, and they heard that computers were the new hot thing, so they'd never done anything with computers. And, uh, yeah. They needed, uh, they needed the extra help and supervision. I don't know why I'm digging out this cave wider. That's just uh, more for me to light up. But there it is. Done nonetheless. Let's drop one of those there. There's no such thing as overkill. Yeah, that's just going to fall. So maybe we'll put that right there. Alright, we'll get to that in. Oh, or not. 
I guess we're going down this way now. Well, we'll go up the other way later. This should also get us closer to the bottom area where the zombie spawner is. We'll go with that. Well, sure, we'll drop one there. And that ought to take care of that. This is almost certainly overkill. Especially since with that one, yeah, I definitely don't need that there. We'll drop that there. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the waterway into the back of the zombie spawner, I believe. So that's lit up. Down this way we go. Move that out a little bit. Ought to make it at least easier to light up. Fewer ups and downs and shadows and things. If Rayest wants it neater, she can come down here and finish that herself. Drop that right there. It's going to go up that way. That'll open up some of the lighting there. there. And we can go off of that away and that away. And oh yeah. Look at that. Alright, let's finish getting this area squared away first. ADD. Attention deficit something or other. This way or not? I thought this was the way to the back of the zombie farm. Maybe it is. Alright. Taking on the torches. I should probably also do that because I've got the. Um, oh. Whatchamacallit. Um, oh memory, why do you fail me so? Optifying. Why I struggled so hard for that, I will never know. But because I've got Optifying, when I put a light in my main hand or offhand, it actually illuminates as if... Uh, that was an active light source, which is kind of the, that's kind of the way the game really should be. Um, it really should give you the ability to hold a torch and get immediate lighting out of that like this. Uh, it's not, it's not going to create an unfair advantage because the, the radius at which the light would stop something from spawning is the same radius that something wouldn't spawn anyway. Just my two cents. Grab some more of this coal. Yeah, here I am pumping everybody up for the dangers of these unlit caves. Dun 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 dun. And uh so far everywhere we've been has been more than enough lit and more than safe enough don't worry we'll find those other parts soon enough because 
they are definitely down here. I tried to uh, find a couple of places a little bit closer to the village and uh, I nearly got massacred by a horde of skeletons. Well, a metric horde of skeletons. There's at least 10. <laughs> yeah, that's as opposed to a standard SAE horde. I don't know. Now I'm being silly and rambling. Ooh. That does remind me. I gotta get to a... I do need to try to finish the gold farm too while I'm at it. Because while what I've got going does work-ish, the spawning platform really isn't the best. It's not getting me the rates that I would like. Um, do I have any of those? No. Okay. So far so good, right? So far so good. Alright, that is a dead end. I, I'm almost tempted to wall it off, but uh, we might want to go exploring around there. Or I forget. Because part of this endeavor is to also gather up a few more resources. Like I said earlier, you notice that I'm running low on uh, stone bricks and mossy stone. Now I'm going to need to grab some of the iron to harvest the... Uh, to harvest the, the vines. Oh my... Short-term memory, something or other. I guess while I'm at it, I need to. Uh, I need. I probably ought to go over that list of stuff that I, I went over a few weeks ago. Because if you remember, there was another solo stream where Arcadius and Reyest were originally going to join in and were not able to at the last minute. So I ended up just kind of running and rambling all by my lonesome. I'm pretty sure that was actually more than lit enough, but we'll go with it. And I ended up coming up with this list of things that needed doing. Rayast was kind enough to go through and actually put together a note that had all the things that I said I needed it to do before we could really call Season Zero done and moving on. So I might want to grab those and kind of run through a checklist of sorts. Um, there we go. 1 October 2019, server notes. Naturally, she put at the top of the list, find Reyest's baby brown llama for the llama drama. I did bring a llama over to the pen where she's been collecting them, uh, although I was informed that one llama was not enough. So eventually I'm going to have to find another brown llama somewhere. Um... That, that might have to get donated by another uh, wandering trader. Volu vo some, well, for varying definitions of voluntary, it'll be voluntary. So that is partly done. Let's see, what's, what was next on the list? We got replace wool blocks and villager trading hall. Because we don't want to suffocate the ones we aren't going to burn, right? Um, that, I keep forgetting about that part of the project. I've been over at the trading hall a while. So when we get tired of caving or when Reastro Arcadius joins back in, we might, or if they end up not joining back in, whichever, we might end up running back to the trading hall because we're going to need the iron to harvest the vines anyway. Um... And just do a quick run through the trading hall and replace all that, uh, all those wool blocks with glass blocks because apparently the wool blocks weren't, 
they, they weren't just pushing the villagers into the pit like they were supposed to. They were actually causing them to suffocate. Which is not good, because the whole point of moving them there is to trade with them, and you can't... You know, dead men give no trades. So, that's still on the to-do list. And the thought was that by putting glass blocks in there, uh, glass is a transparent block and doesn't suffocate them. I am worried, though, the more that I think about it, that we might also run into a parallel problem. Uh, yes, the glass blocks do not suffocate them, but I'm, it might get pushed into them instead of instead of uh, them getting knocked into the hole. Uh, on the flip side, though, that could mean that, um, that, that could mean that, um, they'll just wander in of their own accord, which I hope. Although, if we were just going to let them wander in of their own accord, why are we going through all the effort of putting a villager pusher and pushing the villagers? So, six and one, half dozen the other. Uh, only way to find out is to replace them, run a few more villagers through, find out if, <laughs> you know, oops, they didn't make it, and, <laughs> and then readjust and go from there. Now, more villagers in the top floor of the village trading hall. We, we haven't really gotten that because we still need the villager breeder going first. And that is, that is something that I'm definitely going to end up having to come up with my own design because everything that I'm finding does something other than what I want. What I want. What I really, really want. No, I'm not going to do that to you. Um, what I want is for the villager breeder to be able to be set up with an on-off switch of some sort. Um... I don't want it endlessly churning out villagers because, you know, I, I look at the problem that Mumbo's having with all his villagers getting spat out into the ocean because they're cramming in, into the confined space because they're just constantly churning out villagers and he's not using them past getting the, the actual hall put together. Um, and based on the last villager design, we... You know, we need the villagers until we don't. <laughs> and I'd really like to be able to just, you know, have some sort of an on-off switch so that way uh, when we don't need it producing producing more, we can turn that off and not end up with a crap ton of villagers because uh, while we do have a nice server, it's not the 32 gig <laughs> Hermitcraft server. Uh, so any opportunity to get rid of... Uh, or to not produce unnecessary entities is a uh, is a blessing that I will happily take advantage of. Yeah, I don't know why I'm messing with a wall like that either. No, oh, I think I hear the zombies. Oh yeah, I hear them. Question is. Are they down here, or is there another adjacent tunnel? Because that's been one of... Yeah, yeah. So that means that they're either above me or off to the side. I've been finding out the hard way that there are some valleys and caverns that are adjacent to the ones that we're finding, but not quite... Uh, there's no direct access. We gotta poke a hole somewhere and find them. Uh, that was where I was originally headed. Let's uh, turn the subtitles on. All right, zombie groans. So he's either above me or in here. All right, let's poke in here. That's a little bit more to the right. Yes, let's please. 
please light this up as we go. I hear him on my left. He's got to be somewhere near here. Oh, yep. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And now we're about to see why I said it's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> Hi, guys. All right. Who's the next contestant? Guys, blocked off for the moment. Trying to get us a better set of stairs. This is where having an Arcadius or a Reyes would be really helpful. Gotcha. All right, let's get let's get a light in there. I hear more. That's probably down as the tunnel goes. Yeah. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's just leave that, uh, that access over here. And fill in that unnecessary gap there. Get us another light in here. There we go. That works. Might as well collect the lumber if the game's gonna give it to us. That's less trees we gotta fight with. I hear you. What was that? I swear it sounded like something rattling. Of course, I don't know if that was in the game or outside of the game. Right, that light is redundant there. Because we got enough here to cover that. We got enough here to cover that. Come here, Bob. Eat it. I see that skeleton over there, too. Yeah, the, this cave system definitely, uh... Definitely is nowhere near lit. Oh! Here I am holding, holding a shield, too. Not today. Come on. Eat it. Ooh. We might be at this one a little while. There's also the uh, fun problem of which way it was back. I mean, I think at this point we can follow the Sea Lantern Road. some lights in this place. Alright. I hear you. I mean, trust me, there's a part of it who just wants to put the lamps in the offhand and uh, speed up this lighting process, but uh, this point, I'm thinking the shield is the better part of Valor. Alright. And that should adequately light up the room. I'm curious though, you don't usually see these pillars on without there being something else, usually. 
Left out. Nope. Doesn't look like it at the moment. Down below. Nope. Alright. So far so good. That's what the guy said as he fell down the building. Everybody asked him, how you doing? So far, so good. So far, so good. Alright, um, the list. I knew I was in the middle of something. Yeah, splat. Hurry up. Finish eating. Log in. Could be dangerous over here. Especially the further I wander into uh, unlit territory. Alright, uh, finished trading hall, librarian, basement. Yes, I definitely need to get the uh, the basement squared away. Um, we, we've still got all the librarians down there, some of which we will definitely keep, some of them we will replace. Um, Although, honestly, the trading hall doesn't get finished by the time we're ready to call Season Zero at an end. I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it, just because we we got the main concept done. So, I, I am going to kind of, in triaging priorities and all that, if, uh, if I got to let something slip. That will be that will be among them. All right, let's uh, get some of this junk in a box. No, 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 no not the landers. Whistles? Down here? Oh, there's got to be an underwater ravine nearby. Or are we under the water? Got to start singing under the sea. Even off key? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Now we're just getting silly. walkways up there, or is this, you know, before I get killed staring up at the roof. Let's, uh... Get some of these lit, too. Start around. Okay. No way that's gonna get us lost. Oh, that's what I forgot. Signs. Ah, oh, gee. If only I had enough lumber to make signs. That would be really helpful. <laughs> All 
right, let me uh, finish this little area and then I'll back up a bit and uh, make some signs. All right. Um, thought I had one of these with me, but apparently not. Grab some more lumber, don't need that. Let's get that out of the way. Hmm. Alright, that it, that it. Okay. And signs. I see footsteps. Lava pops. Who's footsteps? Arcadius isn't on yet. footsteps. Somebody's typing. I need more room on my hotbar. Alright, you know what? I'm probably not going to be doing any digging, so we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. Have a snack. Of course, that only helps from here on out. That's, that's a little useless, but we'll go with it. Okay. Alright, let's finish gathering up all the resources out of this loop. And then we'll head on out to the next phase. Guess I'll need to keep collecting these for signs, eh? So good. Alright, I was actually in the middle of something productive and useful before, you know, the creeper incident. Let me, uh, let me clear this and then we'll get back to the list. Of course. That's how I nearly got blown up by a creeper, is paying more attention to the list I was reading than, than my surroundings, so... I don't know. That might not be the safest project to work on while we're doing this digging project. Alright, um... Man, I keep expecting something to pop around that corner. Just the second I'm not paying attention. We got 
that way lit up. And that should be lit up. I'd still like to know where that dude came from. I mean, I know where that creeper came from, but... So let's go grab our iron because I mean we're so bereft of iron I know I know and our coal that we always could use because them torches aren't going to make themselves filling in my divot. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing else up there. I mean, there, there could be something further on down behind that wall, but I, I don't... I don't think so. I uh, thought we'd have heard more zombie noises, or at least seen it on the closed captions. that I apparently need to really watch out for some lava though I am more than a little bothered by the fact that I keep seeing that popping up on the uh, on the caption list sufficient yeah probably All right, like a fine amontillado we'll uh, just close that right up bam I hear the bat off in the distance let's grab this lumber and then we'll move on down while we're doing that let's double check our list of server things we got the villagers, we got the trading hall. Finish the map update when the trading hall is done. That's right, because we still got that line from the rail that we're using to run the villagers in. Fix roof on a dwarven castle rail station. Seriously, you're asked. Um, <laughs> I did get my rail station finished, and I did get the roof done on that. Uh, it's still not quite 100% what I want. But it's close enough for government work. Oh, wait. That was like it was earlier. Um, it's close enough for me to accept where it's at. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to call that project done and move on. I should probably be crossing these off as I go. Date of server chat while on crude nether tunnel. Uh, don't remember. Oh, oh, yeah. Good. I don't think we're ever going to get that uh, tunnel to the mushroom biome done on this season. Because that is a big honking tunnel. A lot of work. And none of us have projects that really benefit from being on a... Um... Well, this is going up. Oh. Alright, now we're tied into the other other stuff we've done. None of us are doing anything that would benefit from being on a mushroom uh, island at this particular juncture. If we were going to continue the season out a little bit further, I might reconsider. But, as, as it is, I don't think any of us need to make that move. Now, if any of us wants to make that move, they are more than welcome to go ahead and go wild with it. I will not be among them for this particular 
venture. And just as I said, I wouldn't need anything to dig. There I go. Needing something to dig. Alright. Now we're getting back into... Oh yeah, we've definitely been through a fair amount of this. Oh! Oh, that's a valley of sadness. That is a valley of pain and sadness. Hmm. When we have help. <laughs> that is a definite when we have help. Oh, this right. This is where this is where I got jumped by that gaggle of skeletons. Is it gaggle of skeletons? Or is it a pack of skeletons? Horde of skeletons? What is the collective noun when referring to a group of skeletons? A necromancer of skeletons? No, that doesn't seem right either. You don't usually refer to a collective noun by uh, who owns it. Or who runs it. Not often, anyway. Necromancer of skeletons. <laughs> I gotta remember that for the next, uh, for the next D and D match. Mysterious lava. No, 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 no. Just one, just one, just one. Go. Work with me now. Hi, Jabba. Did you realize I was on air? You weren't here? Oh, wow. It's already 7.30. All right. Um... So that's the state of the server chat. Now, oh, uh, since I brought it up, we are tentatively planning on wrapping up Season 0 in December, January, and starting Season 1, January or so. That is our current plan, at least. We will be bringing on a new member of the server when we start Season 1. So we will be expanding it out right now uh, in case anybody finds us later and asks uh, for the time being and until you see it posted otherwise on our website at coffeecraft.us um, until until you hear otherwise we are only adding people we know in real life uh, so Medic who will be joining us is a f good friend of ours somebody that we've worked with before We've played games with before, and we know will uh, comport himself to to how we're trying to run our servers. Mostly, <laughs> no, that's just me giving him a hard time, and I'm looking forward to that. We may have more company on the live stream. We'll definitely have some more produced videos out. So it won't feel completely like the Anon Junior show, which it kind of feels like right now. But that's mostly been scheduling. Uh, Reyest is working a management job, or is working as a manager. And if you've ever done management, <laughs> give him a hard time, yeah. Okay, for some reason, did I... Oh, uh, Hang on. Busy. Preoccupied. Give me the fancy bow. Ah. Um, for some reason, I've not been getting accurate view counts on the screens that I see. Like, I'll get the after action report from Twitch and Restream, and they'll say that I have all these people that I didn't see on the count. So on my end, I'm looking, and it's, it's saying zero people, and I'm feeling awfully sad about that. Like... You know, I, I'm about to start making pouty faces like Jubba or something, and <laughs> all right, maybe not like that. Um, and then on the report, it'll tell me that there was all these people watching. Like, okay, I mean, I'm not gonna argue with you on that, but um, yeah. And now I'm seeing too. Now that both of you have actually written a message, um, 
but really right up until Arcadius typed in a message I saw just the um, I, I, I saw nothing I knew he was I knew he was watching because he told me he was um, You, you didn't show up uh, as a second viewer until you actually typed in the chat, which is odd. I, I haven't quite gotten a grasp of how the monitoring tools on my end work and show things. Right. If I can do this without getting myself burnt. Bam. And look at that. Saved a lamp. Because they're so expensive. <laughs> yeah, let's throw another light in there. <laughs> yeah, I just... And, and I keep going back and forth on Mixer as well. Uh, anybody who's been watching my tweets will see that I keep tweeting out that I'm simulcasting on... Twitch and Mixer, and that that is the case um, for now. Mixer is Microsoft's alternative to Twitch. They bought it out a while back, and then it just kind of seemed to sit there for a while. It did have the benefit of being very low latency. There was no artificial delay built in, and a couple of the Minecrafters that I watched really liked Mixer. Um, I liked the idea of not being beholden to any one particular area. So in other words, if, you know, Twitch decided to make a policy change, that, that made me feel like, you know what, maybe I'd rather not work with them. Uh, I had the option to just, you know, go, go to, go to Mixer. You know, Twitch ain't gonna treat me right, Mixer will. And, and... It, it turns out that Mixer's been kind of the the really weird one. They shut me down for a week because <laughs> because I was wearing a tan shirt, and they said that you know you can't stream shirtless. Like, I'm I'm actually a little pale, so you, you really should have been able to tell that that was a shirt. But okay, at least at least you're looking for it, right? So the automated tool's been a little funky. I've had some really weird stuff with the logins. They randomly changed it to uh, used to be able to use uh, some different account authentication options to log in. Now you have to have a Microsoft account to, to log in. And I really didn't want to tie it to my main Microsoft account. I'm trying very hard to keep my work and streaming stuff separate from my personal stuff. And the only Microsoft account I had up until they made that, <laughs> the requirement that you had to use a Microsoft account to stream on Mixer with, uh, the only account I had was my personal one, which was uh, not an option. So I got a second account set up. Uh, and again, it's just been one of those things that it's been kind of like no one thing that you can go yeah, yeah, because of that, I'm not going to use you. On the other hand, there have been enough little things that I keep thinking, you know what, is it worth it? And for a little while there, they, it was bringing in a fair number of viewers, enough to, enough to make it worth keeping. Here lately, not so much. And I don't know if it's because I was brand... Oh, hello, Tunnel. I was not expecting to find you that way. Oh, jeez. Burn. Light up the cave while you're at it. Um. Okay. ADD moment's about to hit in. What was I talking about? Uh, mixer. <laughs> Um, 
But on the other hand, now that Microsoft's finally decided that they're actually going to do something with Mixer, uh, they've loosened up the requirements for monetization. So where it wasn't a viable way to potentially uh, shift part of my income to streaming, which I, I would really like to do at some point just because... Uh, I, I'm... Yeah, there's a longer story in there. That might be for another stream. Oh, hello, Mr. Enderman. Please don't attack me. I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at you. Okay, I glanced at you, but I guess you didn't care about that? I almost want to... Get him out of there, because I know I'm just going to glance at him at just the wrong time. <laughs> and it's going to be a sad day. Let's just chunk some lamps in there real quick. I was getting kind of nervous about stuff crawling out that tunnel up there while I'm over here doing this. So anyway, uh... They, they keep, they'll, they'll do things that'll make me want to leave Mixer, and then they'll do things that'll make me go, yeah, maybe not yet. Um, and again, I really like having two options for, for streaming, so that way, again, if Twitch does something that I just, I'm not going to stand by, I want to leave the platform, I'll have everything already set up over there. Um, and able to move. And likewise, if Mixer ever does something that I just, I really cannot abide, I cannot stand, um, I'll always have Twitch set up and ready as well. And it's that kind of flexibility that I really want to make sure I maintain. Uh, I was streaming directly to YouTube for a little while at the beginning, and... For some reason, Restream was having problems with that. Uh, Restream.io is the service that I'm using to do the simulcasting. So in other words, so I don't eat up all my bandwidth trying to stream to Mixer and Twitch at the same time. I am streaming to Restream, and they are sending out to Mixer and Twitch. And uh, right now I'm using the free plan which has been good enough, good enough for what, what I need. Uh, that includes services like YouTube, Mixer, Twitch, uh, Ustream, and about a couple dozen others. And, uh, so there, there are other, op since I'm using Restream, there are other options that I could use if it came down to it, and I just... Uh, I'm doing well enough to maintain both platforms. And realistically, for what I'm doing, I don't think I'm going to see enough gain for the effort out of expanding out beyond, beyond those two main services. So where's the part where the creeper jumps me? Hi there, buddy. You, you just keep right on going by. Don't mind me. This is where the dolphins... Oh, yeah. Okay. No, that couldn't have been where the dolphins were coming from. Okay. Interesting. Let's put a lamp. <laughs> we'll hang a lantern on it so we know it's there. Gather up our lumber. Look, you really need to move on to other places, good sir. I am not comfortable with your presence. Especially in these tight quarters. 
Alright. Let me try to reel back in my train of thought. Uh, finish the nether gold farm. That is one that I mentioned already. And Reyes wrote on the list again. Okay. What? Thank you. I'm done playing those games. <laughs> Nudging me like that. Okay. Yeah, Reyes wrote down, find baby brown llamas a couple of times, so rather than repeat those, I'll just go back. Uh, fix up OG village and boundary in for safety. That's what we did. <laughs> she also... <laughs> Repopulate OG village, that is on the agenda as soon as we finish getting these tunnels lit up and the defenses put together. Be nice to turtles. Must have a real and serious terrarium. Not trapped. <laughs> okay. Uh, Desert Temple of Reclamation Project. That's one that I do need to circle back on. And I have not had a chance to do that. Mostly because we've been busy with the village. Yeah, so no TNT. Um... And, uh, yeah. So I, I'm at the very least I want to get a three by three piston door installed into the temple just so I can go through how to set up a three by three piston door um, as you saw with my struggles with the um, as you saw with my struggles with the um, the the gate uh, <laughs> I have some skill with redstone, but not all the skill. <laughs> the turtle nurturing tool. Yeah. Y you go ahead and try to let that one fly. I I'll, I'll sit back here while you try to explain that one to Rayest. Go, go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> Back into the valley of pain and suffering, are we not? Possibly. I don't know why I put that there. Alright. Because my thoughts be scattered today. Okay, not just today. Let's go down this way. This seems to be the path slightly less taken. <laughs> TNT is just a potion of permanent invisibility. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. You, you try to get that one to float too. Uh, I'll, I'll sit back here with the popcorn. I don't think that's gonna work either. <laughs> okay. Um, those are Temple Reclamation Project. Yeah, I just, I just want to get a. At a minimum, get a 3x3 piston door, so I, I've had the chance to work my way through some different redstone and try a few different things, see if I can't learn a little bit more by getting a few more projects under my belt. I'll probably follow one of the tutorials that uh, Mumbo Jumbo's po posted on piston doors. Like uh, He's got a world download that I've got sitting around here somewhere with, like, 20 different doors that anybody can put together. Yeah, that kind of deal. So, I'll take a look at one of those and see what I can fit in the uh, floor space. That's available. Did I do that? Or is this a different... Hello? Oh, no. 
Did I not go down through here? Somebody did. There be torches. So I probably ought to start finding my way out as I ramble. Uh, we should be getting close to sign territory. Or not. Oh, that is a sign. That is a sign that nobody has been here. Those are not the signs I was looking for. But while I'm here, let me go ahead and drop a few of these. Okay, that at least gets a little light in there. That should help with the uh, spawning issues. I, I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't see anything there. Uh, it figures. <laughs> the, the whole point of waiting for the live stream was that way I could get some help with, uh, with lighting up this area because it seems like more and more of the guys were spawning in the small handful of unlit caves that we had. So, naturally, I lead off the stream with, you know, it's dangerous to go alone. And this, the, the caves are dangerous. They're, they're havens of, of horrendous spawning. You know, clusters of wild skeletons roam. Watch your step creepers falling every which way. And we've ran into what? Two skeletons and a creeper? A couple of zombies? Nothing, uh, nothing too terribly serious. Which is not what was happening off camera. I promise. I assure you. <laughs> Necromancers. Yeah, that, that's what I thought earlier, but I, I'm not. I'm still. Minecart rolls. Oh. Alright. Enderman. Whoops. <laughs> I always wonder what you call that sound. Oh. Hello. I mean, I, I figured the plural would definitely be horde of zombies. That, that seems about right. Yeah, let's just get some light in here. Uh, much as I really want to get it fancy, we're, we're running, running low on time. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, well, I guess if, if I need some magma cubes, I know where to find them. I don't think we'll have to worry about anything wandering in that way. That at least takes care of that. Although, I could probably do... That right there. That should cut him off, right? Yeah, there we go. And then if you really want to go through there, you can. <laughs> Hunting iron like we don't have a bunch in the village. Okay, and while I'm trying to find my way out. I still would like to know where the, the mine, yeah, mine cart rolls. That's got to be either above or below, or maybe through that wall? Mm. Oh, no. That's probably, no. No, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out another time. I definitely do want to go through and find out where some of the, some of the rest of the unlit caves are at some point. Um, did you just randomly die? 
Oh, no, I don't have inventory space. That at least frees up enough while I go. Question. Oh, okay. That was up. Up is down. Left is right. No. Uh, that was up and somewhere was the alternate up. Mm hmm Ominous sounds. Actually, if I just end up back in the... I wonder. Can I make a swim for it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That was most definitely not. I'll stop messing with it. hoping this would actually lead me out somewhere, but apparently not. Leading me to the end like caves, though. I'm looking at bad Indiana Jones ripoff. Indiana Jones in the Unlit Caves. Um, yikes. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You know what that's a sign to do? Exercise the better part of valor. Come on, fight the guard, fight the guard. No, oh, 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 oh. come on, come on, come on, no! Oh! Oh, joy. Yep. This is a whole lot of not what I want. Yet. Oh, oh, I see a lantern. That's got to be somewhere near where we were. At least one of the caves, right? in a cave forever. I know I saw a sign. This little cave went this way. This little cave went that. Ooh. Um. Oh yeah, that's down to the deep dark barrel of nope. Oh, here we go. Nah, now I know where we're at. There we go. All right. And of course it's nighttime. Ooh. Oh. Guess who, uh, forgot that there's no quick way in the village when you forget, uh, your wings.
Come on. Don't ruin my nicely built hill. I spent so much time landscaping that. zombie spawner for the outro. Of course, I'm waiting for water flow. We got it. Oh, oh, oh. I see you over there. Let's take care of any surprises. Alright. So we're going to be spending some time repairing our gear over in our completed zombie spawner. Nice little brick building. Tucked away in the corner. So while you guys get to hear the groans of those guys in the background, I am going to switch the screen over to the end credits. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. Um... A little bit, a uh, little bit different show than planned. Originally, uh, we were gonna that that cave lighting goes better together. <laughs> I will say that uh, next time, next time, uh, with the ongoing villager rehab project. Thank you for joining along. We do this Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. If you Google that, it'll give you the UTC or whatever's appropriate for your time zone. Thursday. I do Games Revisited on Thursdays, and this Thursday, hopefully, I can get the last or second to last episode done. We were originally going to have that done last week, but the game did not cooperate and kept crashing on us, and crashing and crashing and crashing, and so, <laughs> and so um, we ended up having to cut the stream early because we couldn't get past the video part. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try to work on that and see if I can get past where we were before. I think the video recording software interferes with some of the switches. I'm hoping that was the case, so I'll, I'll try to switch and, and get a save point past where it kept crashing on us. And, and then maybe run it again from the original save point on camera. And that way, if it doesn't if it doesn't want to work, we can definitely just, you know, put it in the... Uh, Put it in the, uh, uh, jump to the, uh, jump to the last save point. Um, sorry. Definitely, definitely near the end of my rope today. All right, so Thursday we should be finishing that up. We'll also talk a little bit about season two of Games Revisited, what game we're going to try next, and, uh, after the game itself is finished, we're going to do a recap episode. Things that went well, things that need work, that sort of thing. And what we're going to change in the future based on all that. Um, the video archive will be uploaded to YouTube where all the other archives go. There's a link down in the description below. Unless you're watching this later on YouTube, in which case, congratulations, you found it. If you want to watch live... Uh, I simulcast to Twitch and Mixer. There are links down below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on Twitch and Mixer, congratulations. You found where, where to find me live. And round right around that circle goes. There will be more coming to the YouTube channel in the future. It's just been a question of time allocation and, and projects. As, uh, as you heard, uh, as I went through the list, that really wasn't the full list from that last episode. Uh, there, there's still a fair amount left to do, fair amount of, uh, on the way, especially, especially as we move towards season one, I want to get the website finished. So keep an eye out on coffeecraft.us for changes there and anonjunior.com for changes there. And I'm going to try to keep those a little more current as we go forward. So with all that said and done, thank you. Have fun. Enjoy. See you next time.